when it was open in 2001, this is the only Rajasthani style building in all of America. And it sits on 14 acres of land. It has a lake. You can see the lake here behind me. There are animals, parrots, llamas, peacock. In that lake, there are 150 beautiful koi fish, as well as water lilies and a waterfall. Um, it's the site of the largest color festival in North America for, for the last, you know, so many years. Um, so that it really, you know, we really built the temple as, as a tourist destination. You know, a lot of devotees might think, well, we can't afford to build a temple. I, I would say you can't afford not to build a temple, really. Uh, at the time, we had no money. We didn't know how, how we'd be able to build a world-class temple. We just knew we had to do it. It was just something that if we were going to be on the map, if we were going to be taken seriously, if we were going to listen to us as serious players, we had to have a world-class temple. And some or other, it was do or die, temple or bust. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this, and it cost $1.2 million to build the temple between 1998 and the time it opened, 2001. And I, it was worth every penny. I mean, it was worth every penny. And here's an interesting fact. To, we could have built a building with concrete block, plumbing, electricity. We could have built a simple building for half a million dollars that would have been approved as a place of worship, been approved to greet the public for half a million dollars. We spent 700,000 extra dollars on the decorations. And every one of those dollars, 20 years later, has come back to us 20 times over. I think you earlier quoted also that art is the, sorry, architecture is the most visible form of art. Right, it's, it, everybody owns it. And the thing is, uh, the, the local Mormons, uh, knowing that this temple was being built, knowing it would be a resource in their midst, they started coming during the construction phase in hundreds to help out with in whatever way they could. Uh, the Mormon um, LDS Foundation, which gives donations to charitable causes, in May of 1999, they gave, gave $25,000 to help us build the temple. There's a doctor in the next town. Um, uh, he's a Mormon. He gives 10% religiously, as all Mormons are required to do. But every six months during the construction process, he would drop by with a thousand dollar donation. And I would say, doctor, you know, what what motivates you to give a thousand dollars to the Krishna temple? And he'd said that when this temple is built and I drive past it with my grandchildren in the car, I want to be able to tell them that I helped build that building. Amazing. So, Prabhu, in general, are the Mormons quite inclusive and broad-minded, or is it that because of your interactions, you created the atmosphere and then they were welcoming? Is, weren't they concerned that you would take their flock away? I haven't, I haven't sensed any of that. I haven't sensed any of that at all. In fact, when they gave the $25,000 in uh, May of 1999, they didn't accompany that with any brouhaha. They made no announcement. They didn't submit a press release. It was just very quietly done by them with no desire for recognition. It was I who sent out the press releases and ended up getting coverage all over the nation. Um, I thought this was such a good template of one religion opening up its arms and welcoming another religion into its very heartland that I felt that this was this, this, this should be shared. And articles ran in the Dallas newspapers, in St. Paul, Minneapolis newspapers, especially in 2002, which was when the Winter Olympics came to Utah and everybody was focused on Utah. So uh, there were a number of articles uh, that coincided with the opening of the temple and they all mentioned about this donation on the part of the LDS Foundation. I, I remember an NPR uh, segment on All Things Considered that um, talked about the Krishnas and the Mormons and how they interacted. And the conclusion of the program was that it was a very, very happy synchronicity. The final words of the commentator were, it seems that people who take their religion seriously appreciate others who do the same. That's beautiful. 